Most of the horses that I get in for rehab are purchased at local auctions, but sometimes I have the opportunity to intercept them before they even get there. This little pony was at a local boarding barn and the owners were having trouble caring for her. This pony was two years old and hadn't been handled much. You can also see that her legs are not 100% straight. I work with a lot of neglected young horses that don't get the proper nutrition or hoof care. As their feet get overgrown, they try and compensate by pointing their toes out just so they can walk easier. This pony was also over at the knees and her tendons were a little bit lax. I know from her kind of dull, brassy hair coat that she hasn't been getting the right amount of minerals, specifically copper. A lack of vitamin E can also cause this long hair coat that she should have shed out by now. This little pony had algae growing in her water bucket, so I just cleaned them out and gave her some fresh water. At this point, I was still trying to decide if I actually wanted to take her. I was told by a few people at this barn that this pony was really nasty, but that's really not the experience I had with her when I was checking her out. She was super friendly. She followed me all around her pen. She let me put a halter on her, and I did a few things with her to test out how easy she was going to be to train. This really is the perfect kind of horse for me to run through my program. This barn had a super nice wash rack, so I decided to give her a bath and treat her for lice before I took her home. And this pony has been on this property her whole entire life. She's never been turned out on pasture. She hasn't seen a lot of the world. There she's just looking at a little uh, donkey that was there. So she was pretty excited about everything that was going on outside her little pen. I have to come back and pick her up tomorrow, so I'm gonna go back to my place and get everything ready for her. Hey, it's alright, little girl. It's alright, little girl. She loaded right into my trailer really good. She was a little bit nervous once she was in there. I just let her loose so she could kind of walk around. I live You're super okay. close to the barn that she was at, so she only had to be on the trailer for maybe 25 to 30 minutes, and then we were home. The weather was getting pretty nasty, so I wanted to get her in the barn pretty quick. How was your ride, Mama? <laughs> oh my goodness! She came from a boarding barn that was pretty busy all the time, so she's used to seeing other horses. Since this pony has an unknown vaccination history, she'll probably stay in quarantine, separate from all the other horses, until I find her new home. This pony's rehab actually started yesterday. I dewormed her with just some ivermectin because she had never been dewormed before. She's kind of a funny shape because she has this big round worm belly, but she's lacking a lot of muscle tone that she would have if she was being fed properly. This pony has just been getting hay her entire life, so to make up for the nutritional deficit that she has, I'm starting her on a ration balancer. I'm also adding copper, zinc, and vitamin E. I test all of my hay and have a nutritionist that goes over my feeding plan every year so I have a pretty good idea of what is going into these guys. I have a feeling once this pony gets what she's been missing she is going to look so much better. The first couple of days I always let them settle down and kind of take in their surroundings. When I turned her out, I did notice that she was pretty lame when she trotted around. I think it's just because of her overgrown feet. After about a week, she was starting to look better. I would hand graze her in the morning and the evening just for a few minutes so she could get some fresh grass. After a few weeks of daily handling, she was ready for her first hoof trim. I wanted to get her feet under control as quickly as possible. As you can see here, she's still not walking correctly. Her feet were really overgrown, but the actual hoof itself was pretty healthy considering she hadn't had regular hoof care. I trim all my horse's feet. It's super convenient. I don't have to worry about scheduling a farrier. This pony hadn't ever had her feet handled, so it's nice that I'm able to go at her pace and when she needs a break I can take one and give her scratches so she gains confidence that she's going to need in her future life. The most important thing I give these rescue horses is time. The ones that I get in that are unhandled but are very brave, they are super easy to train if you just take enough time to teach them how to do all the normal things that horses need to learn. Her feet trimmed up super nice. There's the bottom of it. They're really healthy. 
She got several hoof trims while she was in rehab just to make sure that her legs were straightening as she grew. Although this little girl looked pretty rough when I first got her, her rehab was pretty much the best that I could have hoped for. She was a good-minded little horse that didn't have any prior problems and once we fixed her up, she was ready for her new home. Although it can be really hard letting these horses go, this little girl found a home and she'll be right down the street from me so I can check in on her as she continues her training. If you're interested in seeing more stories about horses like this one, like and subscribe and share with a friend who might enjoy it too. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.